Welcome to another DK Custom Products video on the little things that make a big difference. What we're going to be talking about today is titanium exhaust wrap. This titanium exhaust wrap has been on this bike for 30,000, about 30,000 miles, nine and a half years. So I want to start off right there because there's so many myths about out there about exhaust wrap ruining header pipes. If you've watched any of my riding videos, you know I ride in all kinds of weather, snow, rain, heat, and this has been on here. Like I said, it's just shy of, this is 21, just in August it'll be 10 years. This coming August is 10 years that this wrap was put on here, and it's had 25, 28,000 miles put on it in all kinds of weather. No rust. Nothing loose, nothing breaking, and this exhaust wrap has been on here. It does have a little wear. You can see right here where my heel has scraped here, but that's almost 10 years of use. So let's get that out of the way. But why use an exhaust wrap, and why use the titanium exhaust wrap specifically? This is the best exhaust wrap out there that we found, and it's very pliable, very easy to work with. You do not have to get it wet. That's a big thing. A lot of exhaust wraps, you got to get it wet. It's just a mess. Do not have to get it wet. You do not have to coat it. So you can see we put clamps on it in a few places to keep it, the wrap there. And the reason people use wrap is twofold. Well, threefold. A lot of people like to look at it. But the, other, the main reason is, is it reduces the amount of radiant heat that comes off of the pipes against your legs. Okay, and then of course the other thing is the hotter your exhaust is inside the pipe, the faster it exits and produces more power. You want your exhaust gas velocity to be as, as fast as possible. And by keeping the heat inside the pipe, it helps it exit faster. So, little bump, little bump in performance and a lot of people like the look of it, but the main reason is to keep the heat from radiating off of the pipe. Obviously, I have it on here for a few reasons. Number one, this is a custom exhaust that Devin and I made. These are the factory headers from this 2009. It's factory all the way to about right here, and I think all the way to about right here, and then we added the pipe on after that, and we welded it together, and rather than spending a lot of money to make the welds perfectly smooth and getting it chromed or powder coated, we actually use barbecue paint. This is barbecue paint that was put on these pipes almost 10 years ago and then wrapped. So, and of course it keeps the heat from radiating out. A huge, huge number of people with touring bikes, soft tails, even dynas, that have heat shields wrap the pipe below the heat shield. So they take their heat shields off, they wrap the pipe, put the heat shields back on. In many cases, you can't even see the heat wrap below the shields. In other cases, if you look closely, you can see a little bit of the exhaust wrap below the heat shields. So it's not just a looks thing. It's not just a high performance thing. It's not just something to do on a bike like this, but touring bikes, baggers, trikes, dyna soft tails, where people want to reduce the amount of heat that they're feeling, even though they have a chrome or black setup with heat shields, put this below the heat shields, then put the heat shields back on, and there's a huge drop in temperature that is radiating out toward the rider and the passenger. Now, why are there so many people who say, oh, don't use exhaust wrap, it'll rust your pipes, it'll break them? Well, and why aren't these broken? Why aren't these weak? It's very simple. I never park this bike with the exhaust wrap wet. So if I've ridden through, well, I shouldn't say never. If I've ridden through the rain and I stop in the rain, obviously that's going to happen. But I don't leave it for days and days. At some point, the next day, later that day, a couple days later, it's not raining anymore, and I run the bike and I, it gets hot and it evaporates all the moisture out of the wrap. So I don't leave it for days and days. But a person who washes their bike on Sunday and puts it away wet, 
and does not ride it again for a week or two, that exhaust wrap, now wet exhaust wrap is setting on that pipe for a week or two in a row until they ride it again and dry it out. And yes, that's going to rust, begin rusting anything just like water sitting on any piece of metal that's not coated is going to rust. If I wash it, I'm usually going to ride it afterwards. I don't, if I ride in the rain, it's not going to be wet but a day or two before I ride it again and dry it out. So just don't let it set for days and days and days or weeks wet, giving that water a chance to start the corrosive effect. So any exhaust wrap, if you're trying to reduce heat, if you're trying to get that little extra performance by getting the, keeping the heat inside the pipe so it'll go faster, any exhaust wrap is good. We believe that this is the best. There's a link where you can get it down below, but this is a little, this is a little thing that makes a big difference in radiant heat, can make a big difference in how it looks. You can imagine this would look totally different if it was just barbecue paint the whole way and the welds were showing. And of course it makes a difference in performance if you're looking to squeeze out every little extra bit. So another little thing that makes a big difference, exhaust wrap, link below. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to our channel already, we'd appreciate it if you consider that. It helps us out, it doesn't cost you anything. Share the video with your friends. Maybe it'll help them debunk the myth of, oh, we don't use exhaust wrap. It's going to absolutely ruin your pipes. Hit the notification bell when you know when our next video comes out. Y'all ride safe out there.